this is Sage back from the Unlikely Vegan. Hi, and we got our tr little traveling kitty cat and the dog. Oh, he's just checking. On our way to the cabin again, just Sage and I and the cat and the dog. And as you can see, it is really windy, really cold. Minus 16, and it's supposed to get even colder this weekend, so we're pretty just gonna have a hanging out weekend. We're going to vlog our food, what we're gonna eat at the cottage. Sage is doing some math and English work on her iPad. We've got the dog and the cat tagging along for the ride. Shelby. So we have arrived at the cabin. Yes, so, I got glasses. Somebody got new glasses. <laughs> You're so cute. Okay, so I just cut up all of the cauliflower. I did one head of cauliflower, not two. I figured two maybe is a bit of overkill for us. And I'm going to pour on the hot sauce. I'm just going to pour that all on. Now the tutorial I saw for this, for one, they used butter in it, which I could use vegan mar margarine, but why? I want the flavor of the buffalo sauce. I don't need the butter on it. It also showed it pouring it into a plastic bag and mixing it up, and then kind of figured, well, do we really need to waste the plastic bag? So I'm gonna mix that up and then put that out onto a pan. Okay, so the cauliflower is almost done. I would say pretty much, pretty much done. In fact, I'm gonna turn off the oven. I'm roasting up, or frying up some onions. I don't have any kind of oil or anything in here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the kubasa. I decided to make three. I was gonna make two. And I debated making all four, but I thought if I make all four, it's going to be that thing of, I'll eat it just because it's cooked, and, well, we don't need to do that, right? Um, I cut up the sausages into just little slices, because I do find that this tofurkey sausage, you don't want to just, like, cook up the whole sausage. But if I grilled it, I would make it just the whole sausage, but in the pan... I think just a quick little fry. It's already cooked. I've actually been cutting little slices off and eating it just straight out of the package. It's really good. If I were to um, do like a comparison between the Italian style sausage and the um, Kubasol, I would say the Italian is way more authentic than the kubasa. I mean, here in Manitoba, it is like Ukrainian central. I'm going to add a little bit of water. Water. Where am I going to get water? <laughs> water. <laughs> oh, the lid's on it. Okay, a little bit of water. Just a little bit. That'll be gone in no time. Okay, yeah. So like I said, like Ukrainian Central and pierogies and kubasa are a way of life here. And this is not kubasa. It is good. Don't get me wrong. It is really, really good. It's just not kubasa. So I'm putting that water in just to keep it a little bit tender, keep it from drying out. I'll put a lid on it. Look here. Yeah, yeah. That's all I got. Okay, so supper Bye. is ready to be served. Looks yummy. Well, are you coming up here or are you expecting me to come and bring it to you? I'm not. 
so that's what that ended up looking like. I actually ended up putting a little bit more water in it, and now I'm not sure if I should have because they're really kind of spongy. I had a little taste test. But tomorrow, if the wind dies down a little bit, I will barbecue up the last one because it does say that grilling it would be the best. All right, so what are you going to try first? The sausage. The sausage? The kubasa? Kubasa tofurkey. Taste test by a nine-year-old vegan. New vegan. It's not kubasa, is it? It tastes good. Really? Yeah. Now the buffalo cauliflower. <laughs> Spicy. Is it good though? But what do you think of the what do you think of the kubasa? I think that's the most important part here. What do you think? Kubasa is good. <laughs> How do you eat spicy things? Give it two thumbs up. Yeah? Right on. Okay, so it is Saturday morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, seriously? Good morning. <laughs> and we are going to make tofu scramble. So I've got my tofu here and my coffee, because that's important, and my silk vanilla almond. Oh, it's so good. So we're going to take this tofu, and it is a little softer than I would like, but it'll work. And you're just going to take it, excuse a dirty pan, just reusing my one from supper, which I cleaned out a bit, we're roughing it, right? So you just crumble that all up in there. And I got some onion going on in here. And I'll turn that element on, and yeah, I'll do that with the rest of the scramble. I don't bother draining it or anything. I mean, I'm going to be frying the liquid out anyways. You end up adding liquid into it for flavor um, to infuse the tofu. Um, but yeah, so I'll show you what I add here in a bit. Okay, so my daughter has decided she's going to come and help me, which is good because she's going to learn how to cook. Oh no, don't squeeze it. Crumble it. Like that? There you go. But you don't want big chunks, so that like big chunk. Make sure you pick that out, crumble it up. Perfect. I'm making tofu. You are making, you're making tofu scramble. This is tofu. Then I'm making tofu scramble. Tofu scramble, like egg scramble. Okay, are you ready to add more stuff? Yes. Okay, so we've got peppers here, and cilantro, and baby spinach, but first, Let's put in the nutritional yeast. Now, this is an, a very important step of making um, tofu scramble. Last time she did, did not taste the same. That's right. I just sort of was like, oh, I didn't have the recipe with me. And I was just like, oh, I'll just put in a whole bunch of spices and it'll taste fantastic. It was not the same at all. I couldn't believe the difference that it made. All right. So do you want to do this, Sage? Yep. Okay. You, here's the spoon. Okay. You take nutritional yeast. One scoop or two? Two scoops. Two good sized scoops. Oh, yeah. oh you, how, how, bleh, can't speak. How you had it before, the night's big scoop. Like this? There you go. And one more. Awesome. Yep. Okay, I'll take that from you. Don't put the spoon down yet, because I want you to take. Actually, you can probably just, you want to put a little bit of that in. On this? Sure. A little bit more. There you go. Okay, put that in, and what that'll do is give it color. And cheesy taste. Now, in the fridge, in the door, is vegetable broth. Vegetable broth and vegetable broth. Sweet. Which one? Uh, the little container. 
Yep. Now just pour a little bit of vegetable broth on there. Just a little bit? Yeah, I'll tell you when to stop. You're going to pour quite a bit more than that. There you go. Okay, now stir that all around. And just dump the plate. Yep. Cilantro, peppers. You want to hold the camera for a minute? No. <laughs> okay, and now we can add some spinach. Go ahead. Mm, oh, a couple oh. big handfuls of spinach. That's one. Sure. This is two? No, what is that? This is two? Sure. Throw it in. There we go. Okay. So now we will cook this and we'll be back with the finished product. Oh, and I guess we're gonna put some we're gonna put some Cajun seasoning in too. Uh, we don't really have we've got some stuff up here, but I think with the cilantro and everything in here, it's kind of being like a Mexican type eggs and none of those really work so we're gonna go with the Cajun see how it goes but breakfast at the cottage is done we've got some hash browns that I threw in the oven Sage really wanted hash browns the tofu scramble and the finished product I tell ya whoever says being vegan all we eat is rice and beans wrong Tofu part. Mm. Mm. Bendy plate. Mm. Are you going to say how it is or are you just going to keep chowing down? <laughs> is it good? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm about to make this cake that Sage really wanted as a treat this weekend at the cabin. Now, I've heard that you can make your cake and add a can of pop. I didn't really want to put pop in as there's already sugar and everything in the cake. So I have a club soda that was hanging around here. So I'm going to add the club soda. Apparently it's anything carbonated, so we're gonna give it a try. See how it goes. Oh, it's definitely fizzing up, holy man. So I'm gonna put this in the oven. I just added the can of club soda. And uh, I was really surprised on how light and fluffy the batter was. I really thought that you'd pour the can of pop on and the bubbles would just go away. But I don't know if you can see, but look at the bubbles. So all the bubbles are inside there. So see how it goes. Okay, so it's time for some lunch here, like I said, on Saturday. We've got the cake in the oven and oh my gosh it looks amazing amazing I can't believe how much it rose um, making some grilled cheese sandwiches this is day of cheese yum and obviously mine is with the spinach well I mean Sage's could have been the spinach too she said no thank you so we've got some French bread just gonna put their lids on Turn this element down a little bit because I can smell it burning already. There we go. So that's the start of our grilled cheeses. Okay, so the grilled cheeses are done. And uh, as you can see, it's very melty. This looks like a grilled cheese. It does look like a grilled cheese. You're probably going to put ketchup on it though, aren't you? What do you think? <laughs> it's a grilled cheese. Awesome. 
I am eating my ketchup. No animals exploited in the making of this grilled cheese. Right? Everything tastes good with Heinz ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. You got the little traveling cat. He's he's in a bag right now. And he oh hi hi you, yes that is the camera. Oh you finally came out. Good morning. Yeah good morning. Okay we took our cake out of the oven. We iced it and it, it actually rose really nicely. It's kind of been pushed down a little bit just from when I put the icing on. And it doesn't quite stay together like a regular cake, but it is a very moist. <laughs> all right. Oh, don't stand there. Look at all the dirty dishes in there. Nobody look at the dirty dishes. <laughs> Taste test by Sage. Okay. Is it good cake though? It's cake. Here, can I use your fork? It's cake. Okay, I'm gonna try some here. Let's see, I wanna try this little piece right there. You try it, it's cake. Okay, I'm trying it. Here we go. It's cake. Okay, I'm trying it. It's cake. Minute. Mmm. It's cake. I need another bite. Mm -hmm. Your own fork. That is cake. That's good cake. We got <laughs> okay. supper of spaghetti with yes, it's ready with tomato and basil sauce, and of course we're adding nooch. On top, which is just like Parmesan cheese, cheese except loaded with B12. What else does it got? Um, B12 for a quarter cup is 300% of your B12. It's got, where's the protein? Six grams of protein. It's just good stuff, plain and simple. All right, so that's our supper. Delicious. Banana pie. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. It's now Sunday morning, and we are having another tofu scramble. It Delicious. looks the same, except it's orange pe pepper. It is the same. Not as much spinach. And our hash browns. Yep. 